as the uh, there's been a little bit of a change of plan with the 90 project I thought I'd jump back on to do this 110 project because um, I just got the wings painted the other day they, they straightened out really nice considering they were all crashed crashed and bashed I've got the checker plate on the top they came out nice and but today's video is just to show you the progress what we've done which isn't much at all we've got the body all straightened out uh, I haven't polished and cut the wings in yet they're a bit orange peely but they'll come nice I've got the um, filler in the side of the panel ready to be piped up uh, the back's all done you know I'm sort of getting frustrated now because I'm waiting for bits and pieces I'm waiting for a junction box for the wire wiring I'm stuck for a wiring harness because FedEx lost my package with the wiring harness in then they said they found it and then they said they lost it again but today's video I thought I'd jump on and put some lights in now I've got a Britpart light set and perhaps people won't like those but well they seem to work and to tell you the honest truth I don't have much luck with headlamps in Land Rovers especially when we're on dirt roads and things like this they always get chipped so I'm sort of a bit um, I'm a bit reluctant to put very expensive lights in um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you I, I always fit these LEDs here I like these uh, they, come in, they come from China obviously and this is the box they come in but there's no actual uh, indication of who makes them or a brand or anything like that it's just a sort of generic thing I know they weren't expensive but there are one or two things you need to know so I'm going to set the camera up on the stand and we'll show you a couple of little trickettes all right when you're doing LED lights especially like I said this in my preamble this type um, they're very very good I, I quite like them but there's one or two things you need to know now this is just a, a cheap knockoff uh, wire pack one but they're made by Britpark but uh, these are left hand drive ones so this car was right hand drive so I've got to change the, the, the bulbs I've got to change the pattern um, yeah well I would have used wire pack ones but like I mentioned before they, they would have got chipped and broken so these are cheap enough so first thing you've got to do obviously take out the, the little cover and this is this is one of the important things about this these come with a a, a a regular H4 bulb but because we're going to put these in I'd like to retain this cover now the cover goes behind here and I've known an awful lot of people trying to stretch them on and trying to mess about and get them on and they won't work well the reason is first of all they're too thick so what you're going to do get a pair of scissors and just trim them down a bit till they're parallel I know it doesn't look very pretty but it doesn't have to be all that accurate let's trim them back a bit like that turn them inside out and this see now it's a little bit thinner down there you see and this is the trick because I wondered how the hell do you get that rubber over there well look at this now before we do anything I know that how these go back together but it's a good idea just to put a little mark on here and here and then all will become clear you twist them somehow one minute yeah you twist them and it should come out sorry about that <laughs> I had a bit of a bit of a problem that it was a bit too sharp so if they won't untwist put them in your light and twist them and they will come out right just like that and then because you notice there's a small key here and a large key here so they'll only go in one way so then you're going to fit your spring clip to hold this in And this is why I put some foam, uh, some bubble wrap down in here to save it. Then we're going to put our rubber cover on, and then we're going to fit our light. Now I can tell from here that the broad piece, this piece, goes in 
like that. All right. But just to be doubly sure, we, we try to line our marks up, but it is a bit difficult to see. Now, one of the things with this is it is just a push and a little twist. If you push it and twist it too far, you'll you'll go far too far. All it needs is a little twist, push and twist, and that's it. It's locked in now. All right. So then, the next step is once your bulb's in, is one of these. These are what's called a ferrite choke. Now they're not supplied with the lights for, for some strange reason, but there's a little electric motor in here, like a cooling, with a cooling fan attached to it. And what happens on certain bands of FM radio, it creates a lot of interference. By simply fitting an FM choke, uh, FM choke, a ferrite choke, and these are actually 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter diameter. You can actually wrap them round twice, like this. Look, so wrap it round twice. You don't really have to wrap it round twice, but once is enough. Push the little clips together. One, one, two, and there you go. It's done. So that's now ready to fit. So uh, that was just a little tippet with a choke and how to fit your rubber and the fan at the same time. Now I know there's lots and lots of different types of LEDs about but this one seems to work for me and um, I just can't, I've had, I've had, I bought about uh, eight packets of them and I'm down to my last two so uh, I might have to order some more but the problem is with Chinese stuff is it keeps changing and chopping and changing all the time so I just go off the image and try and trace them off the image. Anyway, I hope you liked that. I hope that was a little bit helpful, especially about the choke, because that puzzled me for a long, long time. Talk to you later.